Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the progressive rendering limits in Corona Render. Progressive rendering limit is the option that we have in Corona to control the noise level in our renderings. To access these options, we need to go to the render setup. To do this, press this icon or F10. On the scene tab, general settings, we're going to find the progressive rendering limit. We have three different options to control the noise level. The first option we have is a pass limit. This option will allow us to control the number of passes before the render stops. I recommend using this for test renders or if you need to create mask. But I don't recommend this option for final rendering as it is a little bit more complicated to calculate the final noise of the image. To test it, let's change the number of passes to 10 and press the render button. It's worth mentioning that if everything is set to zero, our rendering is going to render forever. If we have the tools option selected, on the right side of the virtual frame buffer, under the stats tab, we're going to be able to see additional information about the rendering. What we want to look at is the performance section. The two numbers we are looking for are the number of passes and noise level. In this case, we have 10 passes and we have a noise level of 9.84%. If we want to reduce the noise level, we can do a rough calculation. To get two times less noise, we need four times the render time. What we're going to be doing next is half of these numbers we're going to increase the number of passes to 20, and this is going to give us around 6.5 to 6.8% noise. If we take a look to the stats tab, after changing our number of passes to 20, our rendering time was increased to one minute and 18 seconds from the 36 seconds we had before. And our noise level is now 6.82%. As you can see, these numbers are really close to the ones we calculated before. The next option we have is the time limit. I only recommend this option for test renders, mask, and saving your UHD cache pre-computation. As this option depends on your processor and RAM, it's really difficult to get an exact noise level, especially if you're running other applications or using different computers for rendering. To show you how it works, we're going to change the time limit to 30 seconds. If we remember, 10 passes require 36 seconds. This means that we're going to have 8 to 9 passes at the end of the time limit. The last option is the noise level limit. I recommend using this option for test and final renders. This is also the recommended option for animations. To show you how it works, we're going to change the noise level to 10%. One of the advantages of this option is that we can set our noise level without doing any test renderings before. What I recommend is 10 to 20% for test renders and 3 to 4% for final renderings. If your final render is still noisy after using 3%, you need to troubleshoot your scene. This is an indication, most of the time, of lighting or material problems. As you can see, any of the progressive rendering limits is going to provide us with similar time and noise levels. We just need to decide which is the best option depending on the type of rendering we're doing and the time we have to finalize the rendering. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.